Okay, he's still there. I, 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 God, uh, my God, this face is strong. Uh, 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 oh, please stay on. Please stay on. Hey everybody, headed down to Pueblo Reservoir on this bluebird day in Colorado. Love to see Pikes Peak all covered in snow. Pueblo is one of the best warm water fisheries in the state, if not the best. It is located just a couple hours south of Denver and just a little bit west of the city of Pueblo. Huge lake. 5,000 square feet, or square acres, sorry. We're headed to Turkey Creek today, which is a perfect spot for the pontoon because it's nice and protected and basically like a little lake in and of itself. Water temperature, 62 degrees. Um, this area is pretty shallow, as you can see, just six feet. So probably be a little bit cooler out on the main section of the cove. Quite a few people out fishing for bass and crappie today. So let's see what we can get. So I paddled all the way across and fishing this uh, rock pile right by the bridge and finally hooked up. Let's see what we got here. Grubby, that is not surprising. And this one looks like a white crappie. That's cool. Got it on a little Ned rig that I tied. Figured that that would work really well for the bass down here. But this guy took it. Get him loose here. There's the Ned rig. And let me give you a better view of what that looks like. Little dumbbell eyes and uh, green chenille body. And a little orange shock just to get their attention. So, the Ned rig, I was getting all kinds of hits on that thing, uh, but I couldn't connect. And so I switched to a smaller, basically a woolly bugger jig, and got another crappie. Get this guy unhooked here, and a black crappie. So there are already two species. Pueblo is a great place for multiple species of fish. There he is. All right. Let's see, check him out underwater. Bye, buddy. I'm just, I'm throwing this to the shore, stripping it out fairly quickly, right at the shore, and then letting it sink down a little bit as it comes out. All right, finally got another little guy. Let's see what this one is. A little bluegill. So three species, three fish, three different species. And the diversity of Pueblo is just awesome. Nice and easy to cast from this pontoon. You basically just lift up and 
launch that thing back out using a seven weight with a floating line basically just a fluorocarbon eight pound liter or just tippet material really So another black crappie. Let him go. And got that guy again on the uh, little gold jig head, woolly bugger type fly. Hooking up a lot easier with that smaller fly. All right, it's getting a little late in the day. I'm gonna pretty much fish this area out. So let's head over to some deeper water and see what we can get there. So I was just dangling a curly tail jig with a tip with a night crawler off the side on my spinning rod while I was casting a Klauser minnow try and get a walleye and I got a walleye on spinning rod that's all right I'll take it nice walleye that is a good fish I think that's probably close to a keeper like to eat fish though so let him go okay so I just talked to a guy in a kayak who was fishing this wall on the west side of Turkey Creek Cove he said he caught four big wipers on leeches and he said they were spitting up big shad so I rode over and the wiper crashing on the surface all over the place. This should be fun. I'm going to throw this big articulated shad imitation. Should be a good matches of the hatches, they say. So I'm going to send it over towards the wall and strip it out pretty quickly with slight pauses between each strip. Using a seven weight floating line, but this fly has a lot of weight, so this technique should be good action. All right, no takers on the first cast. Send it back out there. All right, I don't think I'm quite close enough to the wall that the fish are boiling all over the place, but most of them are close into the wall. So 13 to 15 feet of water here. in close to that wall. Strip it out. Come on, fish. Oh, there's one! All right, we got a wiper. 
Oh man, he's heading out. Oh wow. Big fish. Holy cow. Man, these fish are strong. Jeez. Oh no. Feels like he's in a bush. Just stopped. All right, let me, let me go over here and see if I can get him loose or at least get my fly back. Shoot, feels like he's gone. Just stuck. Never know though. Sometimes you get over there and get it loose and they're still there, but yeah, it doesn't feel like it. Alright, come free baby. I only have two of these flies, so got one more in my box. There we go. Alright, got the fly back. Fish is gone though. Alright, let's head back over to the wall. See if we can get another one on. I'm using 12 pound fluorocarbon tippet, which helps get it unstuck from things like that. Glad I got that one back. Alright. Get back over there. There's one! Oh, I got another one! Alright, here we go. Here we go. Wow, these fish are strong. Man! Look at that thing pull. Oh, he came off! How did he get off? I can't believe it. No, oh, yeah, he's still there. Or right, another one took it. Oh my gosh, wow. Holy cow. All right, stay pinned. Stay pinned. Come on, baby. I just can't believe how hard these fish pull. This is crazy. This has got to be a big fish. There he is on the surface. Don't go in the bush. Don't go in the bush. Put a little more pressure on him. Try and keep him up. He's pretty much doing what he wants right now. Spinning me around. Come here. Come on. All right, almost got him. Come on. All right, grab.
Grab the net. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at that fish. My first wiper on a fly. 